We know that alkyl halides react with sodium metal in dry ether to form hydrocarbons with double the number of carbon atoms as that was present in the alkyl halide or initial reactant, right? Now this reaction is called Wood's reaction. Now if you replace one of the alkyl halides with an aryl halide, in that case we get the product which is an alkyl arene and this reaction is called Wood's Fittig reaction. So here you have a new CC bond that is being formed between the alkyl group of the haloalkane and the phenyl group of the haloarene. Now finally if you replace two alkyl halides with two aryl halides, in that case we obtain a diphenyl as a final product. And this reaction is called a Fittig reaction. As you can see, these are all derivatives of the Wood's reaction. Now if you look at the mechanism, we know that Wood's reaction has been proposed to occur via two different mechanisms. One is a free radical mechanism and the other one is the ionic mechanism. And something similar can be extended to these reactions as well. So if you talk about the free radical mechanism, here you can see that the sodium metal donates an electron to the alkyl halide and result in the formation of an alkyl radical. Now similarly, the CX bond in the aryl halide also breaks up to form a phenyl radical and corresponding salt. Now this phenyl radical can combine with the alkyl radical to give us the alkyl arene as shown here. Now you can obviously see the disadvantage of this reaction, right? Just like Wood's reaction, you will end up with many different products here or a mixture of products. For example, the alkyl radical can combine with another alkyl radical to give us a different product which is RR instead of the alkyl arene that is a desired product. Now if you look at the ionic mechanism, we can see that here sodium metal again donates an electron to the alkyl halide and result in the formation of an alkyl radical. But in the second step, this alkyl radical accepts another electron from the sodium metal to form a carbanion as you can see here. Now this carbanion can attack the aryl halide to give us the substituted product. Now this mechanism carries the inherent doubt that aryl halides are not very reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions, right? Now because of the inherent problem of forming a mixture of products, these reactions are not the preferred way to produce alkyl arenes in laboratories. In fact, we have come up with many different, much more efficient ways of synthesizing alkyl arenes using different reactions like Friedel-Crafts alkylation reactions, acylation reactions and even using diazinium salts in laboratories. Although we don't use these reactions extensively in laboratories anymore, it is still important to understand these reactions and their underlying mechanisms.